walk into the court, Jet is sitting there, smiling his big, dumb grin like nothing happened. Unbelievable. The service here is so weak, I'm ordering at the bars. Hey, best friend, um, if you're not going to listen, can you at least get us some more calamari? Sure. Can you spot me? Excuse me. Hello? What does it take to get some service around here? More than a $10 bill. You think this is bad? I'm doing a long distance thing with this guy in Spain. Service there, shock. You're making it work? What's your secret? He flies me to Spain. <laughs> Ever been a cabaret night? Somehow, I've gone almost a whole year without making it to a Pride to You event. What, drag shows, general messiness isn't your scene? No, I just haven't had anyone to go with, I guess. Ah, the straight clean girlfriend. Hey, can I, get you? can I get another round of shots from my table? And uh, whatever he's having. Oh, uh, calamari. I'm Marco. Devin, listen, if you want to meet some new people, you should come tomorrow. Leave the girl. Maybe I will. Blend or cotton? It's just hard, especially since Jesse's on Facebook now, too. Oh, which one do you like? And I can see, like, every little thing he does. You know that he's looking for random play? Ellie, which shirt do you like better? That one. Are you OK? My fashion consultant page is at work, as usual, and I just want to wear something cool at a cabaret night. We're going? Ugh, why didn't you tell me? I have nothing to wear. Ellie, look, I was hoping, I was hoping I could get out there, you know, by myself. Oh. Well, I guess Project Eric's officially a bust. Maybe. I don't know. I could give him another shot, I guess. This one? 69.50 cash? Yep. Aw, oh, crap. I thought I had it. I'm sorry. That's OK. You can pay me back. Really? No, 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 no. I, I feel terrible. No, I feel terrible. I was so busy with my old boyfriend problems, I didn't even notice you were trying to get some new ones. Go. Have fun. Look hot. Thank you. Are you stalking me from a distance? I'm still technically not allowed on school property. Oh, hey, I found this in my suit pocket. <laughs> so funny. I was just about to post through the neighborhood with lost lip gloss flyers. Yeah, yeah, OK, I came to see you. I'm busted. So how's your dad? Lukewarm about having an adult daughter. Warming to theater school, provided I have no distractions, AKA dating. Mm. Well, do you want me to talk to him? Let's say what? Your daughter's debut was incredibly profitable for me. Yeah, about that. Um, keep the money. What? We had a deal. And what about the secret car repairs? I'm just, I'm having too much fun with this. All debts are off the table. Wow. Mr. S, nice car. Looks like it's never, ever been in a fender bender. He runs like a dream. 
The secret, Jason, is in regular maintenance. So bring it by the garage tomorrow. I'll change the oil, rotate the tires, get it all ready for spring on the house. Well, this is a smart boy. fundraiser. Someone's got to support them. I mean, plastic champagne flutes? Come on. This round's mine. What do I owe? Relax. I got it. Can we have a table cleared off, please? Yeah, sure thing. Eric, hi. You work here? Yeah, since Monday. Student loans disappear in a hurry. Here, let me help you. Eric, I'm sorry for last time when Ellie set us up. So we should catch up sometime. That sounds good. What about tomorrow? Uh, yeah, sounds great. Text me, OK? That was those shoes. Now that is commitment to drag. I bet you'd look good in five inch heels. Yeah, I'd finally be allowed to go on every ride at the amusement park. Hey there. You wanna dance? Uh, me? No. But thanks. Not your type, huh? Mm. I got a moratorium on cute blonde guys since my ex. Two years ago, I lost it over this Turkish guy. Hot, smart, rich. Mm. I miss first class. So what? You only date rich guys? Someone's got to foot the bill for this lifestyle. Speaking of, we're hitting tirades more. You're kidding me. The club with the swimming pool? Don't you need a membership to get into that place? Yeah, so? You coming? <sighs> I should probably go. Early class. But this round's on me. Seven drama schools? Get in now, win scholarship, show dad free money, win game. Interesting approach. It's almost like you've matured or something. I've learned the secret. Serve everything with a side of J. I'm waiting for the punchline. I'm serious. He's very useful. I know, he's a skeezy mechanic who only looks out for himself. All I'm saying is it has its upsides. One of them being that you can't keep your eyes off him. That's ridiculous and beside the point in... So what? I'd list all the reasons, so what, but you're not listening to me. When are you seeing him? After school, but only to pick up my dad's car. Honest. Mm -hmm. And maybe something to eat. that your number still comes up as Dylan McAlchuck? Michael Chuck. Doc. Phone's still in his name. <laughs> but we are like a zillion percent kaput. Kind of thanks to you. And Mrs. Cupid. So, Eric, what do you do when you're not at the core? Not much. Watch TV, dabble in Sudoku. Oh, how? All the boringness of a crossword with the inconvenience of counting. <laughs> well, I like it. So, oh. do you like jazz? Eric, the guy from the core? I thought you said that guy was lame. I gave him a second chance. That's awesome. How was it? Lame. <laughs> <laughs> he likes jazz. So, jazz can be righteous? Yeah, well, I'm meeting up with Devin at Tirade. Any chance I could 
you know, borrow a bit of cash? Oh, yeah, I'll just put it on your tab along with the shirt. No, don't look at me, bud. I'm broke. And we are studying. You should try it sometime if you can work it into your party schedule. Hi. Can I get a little passive with your aggressive? I thought you were OK with this. What is so great about Devin? Why is he so worth going broke over? Because I just want to have fun for once. Is that so wrong? Is using your old friends so you can live the high life with your new ones wrong? Hmm. Tough call. Hey, you've shown me a whole new world tonight. See, two can dine for two ninety nine. <laughs> and now you're walking me to my door. I can't help but feel suspicious. Ah, beautiful and cynical. Where I'm from, dates usually end with a kiss. Where you're from, dates end in the back of a van. Hmm. Touche. So. Good night. Right. Good night. Manuela, your mother and I were worried, and now I can see why. I guess I was wrong to trust this one. Goodbye, Jason. Don't come here again. Oh, wait, Dad. Wait. Um, Jay and I were just celebrating. Celebrating? Celebrating what? Uh, with the, the, well, we're engaged. Devin, hey, guys, meet up. Thought you were busy tonight. I ditched him. It's OK, he's with us. 50. So don't have fifty dollars. I guess there's no chance you want to come back to my place, watch DVDs. If you want to play with the big boys, you're gonna need big bucks. What should I do? Rob a bank? Money is the easy part, Marco. If you ever think we're gonna do quiet DVD nights at your place, you're out of luck. Why is this the first we've heard of this engagement? Is there anything wrong? Everything's fine, Mom. No need for a shotgun wedding. <clears throat> Jay and I want to spend time together. I know that would be inappropriate if we weren't serious. Inappropriate, right. I know how much our family respects the part of a relationship that grows while a couple's engaged. I'm, I'm sorry we got a little carried away. <laughs> I'm just so in love with Manuela. <laughs> <laughs> You'll treat my daughter with respect. Like a Maserati Grand Sport Spider V8. There'll be no wedding plans until after university, understood? Believe me, we won't. <laughs> We're going to have a long engagement, Daddy. <laughs> Eric, hi. Marco, didn't think I'd ever see you again after yesterday. Look, I know Ellie really wants us to click, but I think we're putting too much pressure on ourselves. Yeah, tell me about it. Listen, maybe we should just work on being friends first. Well, do you think you can help a new friend get a job here? Resume? <laughs> you obviously have no idea what a bus boy does, do you? I'm pretty sure it doesn't involve driving a bus. <laughs> I'll check with my boss. You're saving my life, Eric. <laughs> and you do know we get paid every second Friday, right? I don't suppose you can front a new friend some cash until then? <laughs> Ellie always said you had a great sense of humor.
these new friends of yours speak of ashes and dust where are they taking us feels like the end but we're just beginning these new friends of yours won't show their faces to me Genuine cubic zirconia. Fake diamonds for maximum believability. Not in front of the school. This better be some kind of joke. The best, the best kind. We have fun, we keep up the ruse. You buy yourself some freedom. I can go away to university next year without my parents worrying about the boy factor. Your parents continue to adore me. You get to do whatever you want. It's really about their peace of mind. And what are you getting from all this? The three things that I love the most. Hot girl, fake commitment, and free food. It's a win-win-win. I am both attracted to you and very, very afraid. Sounds about right. Hey, I got your text. This is nowhere near Club Tirade. Nope. Which is good, because, Devin, I don't know how you do it. You're going out every night, partying. I can't keep up. Luckily, I'm going to help your cash flow issues. What? You got some magical money tree lying around somewhere? Here's a ride. You know how I feel about discretion. Marco's cool. Local politics will remain unscandalized. Just get in. That works for us. Devin, why we stopped? Is this some kind of drug deal? Relax. Before he gives us a ride to the club, we give him a ride to paradise. Just go with it. Hold up. What? This is what you do. You have sex for money? He's new to this. You need cash. You got 300 coming your way. No need to be embarrassed. This is awesome, Mom. Yeah, Mom. What, too soon? <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, a beautiful woman that I love and a weekly dose of culinary splendor. God smiled on me. Everyone. We have company. Ah, Father Phil. When you announced your engagement, I called the parish right away. The wedding may be years away, but it's never too early for premarital counseling. Mmm. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to, but I'm not Catholic. Not yet, dear. I didn't hear you come in last night. Yeah, I didn't want to wake you up. So, how's Devin? How much more in debt are you today? There is no such thing as Devin, Mel. No. Oh, did you run out of ways to mooch party money? Did your sugar daddy finally dump your scrub ass? Enough with the sarcasm, OK?
Devin set me up with a client of his for money. Ew. Gross. Whoa. Wait, did you? I almost thought about it, though. All for one night out. What does that make me, Elle? Confused. But fortunately not a prostitute. What are you looking for? I don't know. Well, luckily, the vast majority of gay guys at school aren't like Devin. Yeah, some of them are pretty cool. Despite their positive attitudes toward jazz. Oh, I will make you like Eric. Yeah, well, it might not be so hard. Eric got me an audition for the role of busboy at the campus club. And my first paycheck directly to you. <laughs> for that fancy, fancy shirt. I just... I wanted to feel happy. Confident. Sexy. You know? Yeah. But money can't buy those feelings, Marco. Attention sucks. What's a guy gotta do to get sent to her office? Oh, I would love to spend some alone time with Principal Hot Sauce. Hmm. So you guys aren't into girls your own age. Must be why I've never seen you with girlfriends. You want to apply for the job? Depends. What are the perks? Well, don't waste your time, man. She's still wearing her abstinence ring. All right. God says ski trips with pretty boy Peter don't count. Johnny, Bruce, you know there's no talking in detention, and you'll have plenty of time to prove you know it because you just earned yourselves another week. And the little tease gets off scot-free? Ow! Do you see what I have to put up with? As soon as you turn your back, these two gang up on me. This is your last day. Why don't you go home early? Really? Mm hmm That's not fair. She started it. Guys, I warned you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are my savior. OK, all right, off you go. <laughs> Should I pick you up after school, or do you have another detention? I can walk home by myself, like I have since I was a kid. Well, when you were a kid, Darcy, I didn't have to worry about what trouble you were getting into every time you left my sight. Well, sorry for changing. It's a good thing you've still stayed the same. You're still a bitch. Hey, excuse me, young lady. I heard the... I don't understand why Degrassi needs a new logo. I like the panther we've got. Jimmy, use the slider. It's safer. I got it. Oh. The Grassy's had that logo for ages. It's lame. It looks more like a jaguar than a panther to me. But with the purple dragon cash, that means new uniforms for all our teams. And if I win, my logo's going to be everywhere. It's a 
Pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. See you physio after class, right? I'll meet you back at the car. I, um, I'm gonna start taking transit, so don't worry about it. Jimmy, we're a team. It's, it's what I'm here for. I just need to start doing more things on my own. That's all. Fine. It's just trying to help. Watch it, Princess Sunshine. I could have hurt myself. Oh, poor baby. You'll be fine. All right. Let's do that again. Darcy, why don't you look at the choreography with me? I know you've been through a lot lately, but forgive me if I've lost my spirit. You know what? I quit. Hun, you don't mean that. OK, you can't just drop out of life. Watch me. Oh, the keys I have to steal to get a moment of privacy. This can be our special place, our new hiding spot. Dark, don't stand too close to the edge. You know, I used to be afraid of heights. I wonder how far down that is. Darce, be careful. What are you doing? Ooh, have you gone mental? That ring belonged to Virgin. Darcy, but I am not a virgin. And my only sexual experience was with a total stranger. Darcy, what happened wasn't sex. Whatever. This time it's my choice. Whoa. You want to have sex on the roof? Better than on roofies. Come on, nobody will see us. Oh, Darcy, I've really tried to help, but I don't even know you anymore. You're like. Like, hopeless. I'm sorry. Peter and I broke up. Um, this sounds like the type of thing you should tell a counselor. Have you talked to Miss Sauvé lately? No. You're the only one who understands what I'm going through. Come in. I'm just uh, scanning logo contest entries. You gonna design one? Seems like it might be something that's right up your alley. I'm kind of sick of the whole school spirit thing. I think this will even be my last week on Spirit Squad. You're really making some changes in your life. Change is an important part of healing. Exactly. That's what I tried to tell Manny today, then Peter, but they just didn't get it. Not like you. Um, what do you think of this one? <sighs> it's not very sexy. I. I think I can do better. See ya. Hey, you're still at it. That's great. Yeah, still uh, flailing around like a baby deer. Ooh, tell me this gets easier. Well, what's your goal here? Uh, work hard, walk out of here, live a normal life. Well, then it doesn't get easier. And if you're doing it so you can work in a normal office building and live in the normal suburbs, you'll never make it. Oh, yeah? So what's your goal? Hike the Grand Canyon, do an idea route or two. Watch the sunrise from the top of Mount Haleakala. Wow, that's ambitious. Oh, well, I bet you didn't used to be the type of guy who'd settle for normal. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I should get going, though. Speaking of limitations, I have to catch the bus to school. Hey, want to drive? 
Uh, yeah, sure, that'd be great. Oh. Do you want to drive? <laughs> what? So everything's done with your hands. Okay, so brake is here. Okay. And then gas is forward. Okay? All right. <laughs> no laughing. Okay. No laughing, all right? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> not bad, Grandma, not bad. That is a spy, okay? I know, I know, I know. Okay, okay. I'm telling my mom. And what are you doing, teacher's pet? On your beeswax, Shrek. Do you think you can flirt your way on next period? Maybe we can go somewhere and practice some Darcy-style abstinence. All right, everyone. Your corporate rebranding projects are due next week. Please confirm your proposals with me first. I made a new logo. You'll like it, Snake. I really have to get going. Wait. Look, I think you're a little confused. I, I know. It was supposed to be a panther, but I like snakes better. I'm not talking about the logo, Darcy. I'm glad you feel comfortable talking to me, but I think you need to open up to someone else. Your, your parents, um, Sophie, anyone. Can't, can't, can't I just eat lunch with you? Let's just talk. We'll just talk, okay? Just for a few minutes, please. Darcy, give me the scissors. Darcy? Dar Darcy, hang on a minute. Mr. Simpson, I am so sorry about acting like a psycho earlier. It must have been PFS or something. I'm fine now, really. Good. Can I see you in media immersion after school? Of course. I will definitely be there. Thanks, Mr. Simpson. No problem. Hey, man. Where's Jane? I gave her the day off. Dude, I love you. Um, bringing my homework is only half of Jane's job. Funny. But look, I have a serious problem. You know Trina from Physio? I think I like her. A lot. So go for it. Yeah. What about Ash? So don't go for it. Thank you. So helpful. Look, me and Trina, we went driving yesterday. Just the two of you? Isn't that dangerous? She has a hand-controlled car, you idiot. And it was amazing. So all I'm hearing is Ashley bad, Trina good. You don't need me to help make up your mind for you, dude. You're right. What are you doing here? Darcy, I asked everyone here because I'm worried about you. Uh, what is this? An intervention? Your behavior's been troubling lately, and um, today there was an incident involving scissors. What? 
I trusted you. Darcy, I've been your confidant, but I'm not a counselor. So I think it's time that you tell everyone what you've been hiding. Fine. I'll tell them. I will tell them all about how you treat me like some kind of teacher's pet. And how sometimes you hug me and touch my legs. And I find it uncomfortable. Darcy, I, you know that's not true. What do you mean, he touches your legs? He brushes up against them and rubs them sometimes. When? In class? Wait, hold on a minute, OK? I think Darcy's a little confused here. In fact, sometimes when we're alone, she's the one You're that's- spending time alone? Just the two of you? My daughter's a child. What did you do to her? I know, I know how this all looks, but, um... Wait for me in my office. <sighs> Daphne, I assure you that... Archie, you know the policy. Automatic suspension. I assure you, we'll investigate this matter fully. always seemed so nice. Well, that's how he lured girls into his nerd den. My sister said he made out with one of her friends. Hey, when you see your daddy, tell him I say what's up. <laughs> but don't get too close. He might get grabby. <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about. Sure I do. Just ask teacher's pet all about her extra credit. It was you, wasn't it? Emma, I am, I'm so sorry. All I said was that he made me uncomfortable. All you said? You ruined his reputation, his job, his life. Emma, I didn't mean to. Doesn't matter. Because pretty soon, everybody is going to find out what a pathetic liar you are. Hey, want to earn some extra credit? Thank you so much for the lift. Um, it's really cool hanging out with you after physio. Then why don't we make plans to do something outside of physio? The drive-in just opened up again. Yeah. Uh, see, here's the thing. <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. Yeah? Yeah, how does next weekend sound? New friend, Jimmy? Real nice. Whoa. How'd you find this place? Keys to the school, courtesy of pretty boy Peter. You like the view? And now to announce the new Degrassi Panther is your student council president, Liberty Van Sam. First, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Mr. Simpson for organizing this contest. And I'd just like to say that people are innocent until proven guilty. Uh, we had a huge number of entries from both long time. If Darcy doesn't show, I'm making myself co captain. She'll be here, don't worry. Have you seen Darcy? After what she did, I hope she never shows her face here again. What are you talking about? She's the one who accused Snake, she told me. Bad idea on her part. Um, she's been through a lot lately. You're siding with her? Where's Darcy? I don't know. 
Somewhere she could be crazy in peace. Oh, she still has my keys to the roof. The roof? Darcy! Good luck, Nanny. Can I help you? Leave, dirtball, now! You Degrassi chicks are crazy. What are you doing? Why are you on the roof making out with that loser? And falsely accusing Mr. Simpson? I'm crazy, Manny. Haven't you heard? I'm a crazy slut. And once everyone finds out that I lied about Simpson, the whole school will think it too. And you know what? They're right. I just feel like dirt, Manny. I'm dirt. Oh, you're not. You're the same person you always were, and you can fix this. Darcy, get back. Darcy! How will I face people? How am I going to tell my parents the truth? If you don't, I'm going to do it for you. You've been keeping your secrets for too long. Hey, Ash. Wait up. Why, why have you not returned any of my texts or calls? What, so you can beg for my forgiveness, Jimmy? I don't want to hear it. You won't have to. What's that supposed to mean? Look, yesterday, me and Trina, you weren't supposed to see that, but... Jimmy, I have supported you for more than a year. Yeah, exactly. You supported me, okay? This relationship has become a crutch for the both of us. So what, you just want me to walk away? I'd do it myself if I could. worse? I can handle this, Emma. I told everyone I lied. My parents, Miss H, they signed a statement. I know. Miss Hotzlock was called me. Did you tell anyone why? About what happened to you? But... It's all better now, right? You'll be back at school. Darcy, sometimes girls say things, and then they take them back because they're scared. So even though we both know you lied, I'll still be under investigation. I'm so sorry. You must hate me. You've caused a lot of damage. But I don't hate you. 